Discoveries in the field of astronomy are constantly happening, even if they do not make headline news. New, advanced technologies, as well as past discoveries, have made it possible to observe so much about the universe that we were not able to before. Each day, there is a possibility that astronomers will discover the next big thing that completely alters our previously held beliefs about the universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we share three interesting findings. NASA's Parker Solar Probe Discovery The Parker Solar Probe was launched in the year 2018. Researchers have revealed that the unexplained rogue waves and high winds mean scientists are negligent of something really cogent in the standard models of the Sun. NASA's Parker Solar Probe maneuvered closer to the Sun than any previous mission, though the Sun is in the center of the solar system and its radiation has birthed the existence of Earth, it is one of the most undiscovered items in space because of its immense heat and radiation. During these two encounters, Parker traveled within 15 million miles of the Sun's surface, far exceeding the 25 million mile record first set by NASA's Helios 2 mission in 1976. Parker has also acclaimed the title of the fastest human-made object in history from Helios 2, as it surfaced near the Sun at over 153,000 miles per hour. In a jaw-dropping discovery, Parker detected new phenomena within a quarter of an astronomical unit, the distance between Earth and the Sun of the solar surface. At that distance, the probe reported that the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun, was rotating around the star at speeds far beyond what models had estimated. To everyone's big surprise, by the time it got to the closest approach, the solar wind was flowing between 35 and 50 kilometers per second around the Sun. That's something like 15 to 20 times faster than the standard solar models predict. So scientists are missing something really fundamental in the rigid standard models of the Sun. How it rotates and how the wind escapes, which is discovered to be really interesting. Park was also struck by a series of extremely intense alphan waves in the solar wind. Interplanetary missions have long observed far less energetic alpha waves, which are waves that circulate through magnetized plasma from the Sun. But Parker is the first to brace the huge rogue waves near the star. It was reported that, every now and then, suddenly within seconds, the speed of the wind would leap up by about 300,000 miles an hour. Then, for seconds or hundreds of seconds, the spacecraft would sit there washed by this spur in the speed of the wind, and then, just as quickly it goes away. These spurs are so forcible that they distort and twist the magnetic field as they pass through it. It gives one a sense of just how much energy is dissipated in these rogue waves as they go by compared to the regular Alvin waves that have been reported earlier. Though the mechanism behind these waves is still a mystery, the great force of them may help elucidate two of the most persistent mysteries about the Sun. Why is solar corona, or the atmosphere of the Sun, about 1,000 times hotter than its surface? And why does the solar wind suddenly accelerate to supersonic speeds at a certain distance from the Sun? Scientists suspect that a complex process dumps heat and energy into the solar corona. The newly detected rogue waves might be a portion of this dynamic. In initial analysis by scientists, they're carrying a great mass of energy, so they are very promising as an energy source. It cannot in any way be acclaimed that astronomers have solved this mystery, but some very surprising results have been made to paint the path to closing this mystery. GRB 190114C Gamma Ray Burst Gamma ray bursts are incredibly powerful astronomical events that were first noted by scientists around 46 years ago. Although mysterious and not fully understood, they are fairly common and can be observed randomly in space almost every day. The most common cause of a gamma ray burst is when an enormous star, exponentially larger than our own sun, runs out of fuel. The core collapses on itself, forming a black hole, which then projects particle rays from inside the blast through the outer remnants of the star. These initial particle rays react with the mass around it to form hugely powerful jets of gamma rays, which are the most highly energetic wavelength and move at almost 100% the speed of visible light. 
These initial bursts last for only a minute or two, followed by what scientists have termed the afterglow. This afterglow surrounds the site of the burst for several months following the event, and is caused by the continued interaction of the ejected jets with surrounding space particles, which emit light on all frequencies across the wavelength spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Such a collapse of matter resulting in long-lasting jets of incredibly powerful gamma waves is collectively known as a gamma-ray burst phenomenon, and is widely studied in the field of astronomy. Previously, because the initial bursts are so short-lived and occur randomly in space, research regarding this phenomenon was limited to what astrologists could observe from the long-lasting afterglows, which are a representation of the burst event at lower energies. Because these events are the most powerful explosions in the universe, and understanding is limited to conclusions gathered from study of the phenomenon at its least energetic form, researchers have made numerous attempts to view and capture the initial gamma-ray burst, not just the afterglow, for analysis. And on the afternoon of January 14, 2019, they had a stroke of luck. NASA's Fermi Gamma-Ray Space Telescope and Neil Gerl's Swift Observatory detected the gamma radiation from a pair of enormous bursts originating from the Fornax constellation, and alerted the major atmospheric gamma imaging Cherenkov Observatory, which was able to automatically detect and record the burst of a mere 50 seconds after it began. The two gamma ray bursts, named GRB 190114C, emitted the highest energy rays ever witnessed in such an event making the gamma rays projected from the site of the burst the highest energy wavelengths ever recorded. Researchers are still attempting to determine whether or not the unusually dense environment of the system, which occurred at the nuclear centre of several interconnecting galaxies, was what might have been conducive to such a large burst. This documentation of a component of a gamma ray burst that has not been able to be widely studied especially when the event in question is the largest ever recorded, will help scientists to look at gamma-ray theory from an entirely new perspective. Further analysis of the recordings of the initial event compared with continued study of the afterglow will radicalize the way that scientists study gamma-ray theory. The Appearance and Disappearance of the Great Dark Spot on Neptune Dark spots on planets are not uncommon. In fact, Jupiter's Great Red Spot is one of the most well-documented planetary features next to Saturn's rings. Neptune has its own set of features, including a set of dark spots, the largest of which was dubbed the Great Dark Spot, or GDS-89, upon its discovery in 1989 by the Voyager 2 space probe. These dark spots are not characteristics of the planet's crust, but rather the result of large anticyclonic storms forming in the atmosphere. Anticyclonic storms are cases where winds rotate in the opposite direction of the rotation above a low-pressure region. However, in the case of Neptune, these anticyclonic systems are formed in a relatively cloud-free interior and have been documented to disappear and reappear in cycles several years in length, meaning that the surface of Neptune generally only has a great dark spot about half of its life. This is in contrast to Jupiter's famed anticyclonic red spot, which has been in place for hundreds of years. Although anticyclonic storms occur regularly, albeit briefly on Earth, the great spot occurs with much larger proportions. The first time that it was observed, GDS-89 had a slightly elliptical shape that was around the same size as our entire planet, with winds recorded at speeds over 2,100 km per hour, the fastest winds ever recorded in the solar system. Although it is not certain what is causing these storms of enormous proportions, scientists believe that it is likely a hole in the methane cloud deck of the planet. Unfortunately, the great dark spot still remains rather mysterious, largely due to an inability to get a close inspection of it. The primary way that GDS-89 is viewed is through the Hubble Space Telescope, and even then, it is incredibly difficult to get a good view of it. After its discovery in 1989, it wasn't until 1991 that the Hubble Space Telescope was in a position to see it again and this time scientists were shocked to discover that GDS-89 had completely disappeared. 
although later in 1994, an orbit by the Hubble photographed the appearance of a similar dark spot that could have been the original GDS-89. Although scientists are not entirely sure why it disappeared, they theorize that it either dissipated entirely due to migrating too close to the equator, or it could have been covered by other atmospheric clouds and was still in existence, just out of view. The surface of Neptune is covered in high clouds made of methane ice crystals dense enough to cover and cast shadows on a lower cloud layer made of ammonia or hydrogen sulfide. There may also be several more layers that could not have been studied below these, meaning that the conditions and weather patterns of the cloudy planet could very well have been hiding the great dark spot just below the cloud cover all along. Regardless, the spot was not seen again until 2016 when another spot emerged, but this time in Neptune's northern hemisphere. This spot, dubbed the Northern Great Dark Spot, appeared nearly identical to the initial Great Dark Spot, and has been visible in all attempts to photograph it since then. Although an opportunity for viewing the Northern Great Dark Spot has not presented itself in several years, making it uncertain as to whether it is still there or not. The universe stretches so much further than our own insignificant little Milky Way. And although scientists have no idea exactly what lies hidden beyond the reaches of our telescopes and satellites, the more that comes to light about the strange forces that govern space, the more we can understand the world beyond our atmosphere. All that we can do is seek to understand as much as we can about our surroundings and slowly uncover the mystery that is space. But what do you make of these fascinating discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.